This is my setup for making cross modulation exposure tests on 16 millimeter optical sound film using Oricon equipment. Uh, the setup is a laptop feeding a NR25 amplifier which is then feeding a Cinevoice camera. I have the uh, laptop playing back a, uh, a two-tone test recording that was made by John. It consists of two parts. There's a 400 hertz reference tone followed by mixed highs. And when you play back the processed film, the mixed highs should not reproduce 400 hertz at all. So the setup is the laptop is feeding a little uh, attenuator, and then the attenuator is feeding the number two phono input on the NR25 amplifier. Let's go ahead and start the tone. First we'll hear the 400 hertz. And I usually set that about three and a half. The 400 hertz and the mixed highs don't exactly match each other, but for our purposes that's okay. I'm just interested in the relative response. So I make this recording at various exposure levels. Uh, right now we're sitting at about 12, which may be okay for Tri-X, we're not sure yet. The difference in the tones, you can see it's about three and a half for the 400 hertz, and then the mixed highs comes out at about five with the levels I have. Now we also want to see how much the exposure varies with these tones. Uh, this is due to a limitation in the, uh, the battery limiter power supply I'm using. Uh, right now we're sitting at about 12, and uh, let's make it exactly 12. And when I turn this down, so we have no audio being recorded, you still hear the tone because it's coming through a separate speaker. The exposure goes down to about uh, a little over 11. And as I said, this is due to a limitation of power supply. When we're recording normal audio, the, uh, that variation won't be as much.